Stanford University. Probably many of you think the Stanford Challenge began in 2006, but it actually began just about 10 years ago. We realized that we could build a set of initiatives that would enable this university to go into territory that it hadn't been before, to really focus its attention on the big problems around the world, and to bring our faculty and their capability and the incredible students we have to focus on those problems. So how are we doing? Well, I think we have some wonderful stories to tell about the advances uh, we've made. One of the most exciting, uh, I think, is this whole new area of optogenetics that Stanford University has been the pioneer in pursuing. Uh, some of you may have heard about this through the work of uh, Carl Deseroff, our a colleague, a colleague with a joint appointment in bioengineering and psychiatry. Remember that five years ago, the bioengineering department was just started, so this new department is already making the kinds of groundbreaking appointments that we really hoped it would. Carl's working on a whole new area um, and one of our highest priorities, which is to understand how the human brain really functions so that we can design therapies for people who are victims of injury or brain disease that are based on a fundamental understanding of the brain. It's a completely open territory. One of the projects I'm really excited about is some work that Sarah Billington's doing on creating faux wood. That's right, faux wood, the ultimate renewable wood source. Um, wood made from low-cost bioplastics, things that we would otherwise throw into trash heaps. Hemp fibers are actually fused with a biodegradable plastic resin to make this, and it's incredible stuff. Um, once it's exposed to air, it's actually stable, but in a, an environment where there's no air, it actually does re-decay. So you can bury it underground and actually have it return to the natural sources that it came from. Of course, the key to this success uh, and to our early success has been the wonderful support of our donors and their generosity. We've had money in several key areas which have been absolutely crucial. Seed funds. We are now funding most of the young faculty with the most exciting ideas. They're being funded from Stanford first in relatively modest amounts, but often if that initial work is successful, they can go out and raise 10 or 20 times uh, the amount that we initially invest from federal sources and foundations to continue that work and take it to the next step. Another key element have been support for endowed fellowships and for our faculty. Uh, obviously, in the end, research really is about the quality of people you can bring together. We are getting the best graduate students from across the country to come to Stanford. Many of you know lots of what we did in this campaign, particularly early on, a lot of our focus was around facilities. We're three quarters of the way through our new engineering quadrangle. And if you've been on campus recently, you can see the framework going up for our new Bing Center for the Performing Arts. We're really excited about the concert hall and it's really going to be a wonderful facility. But much of the focus now has to relate to people and some of our important research initiatives. Undergraduate financial aid, a key need for us, particularly in the aftermath of the financial crisis. We are getting the best undergraduates in the country. Our yield last year hit an all-time high. Our interdisciplinary fellowships, this is really a groundbreaking concept for us where we are particularly supporting and encouraging interdisciplinary work, letting our students break out of the confines of a single discipline to put together a team of work and research that's really unique and reflects that. And finally, I want to touch on the K-12 initiative. We're now focused on quantitative policy analysis. What really works? build the evidence base, do the analysis, and demonstrate what reforms are most cost effective in thinking about the problem we, we have in K-12. Our goal is to be the place that captures that data, that does that analysis, and delivers the insights. We have made tremendous progress. We're not done yet, and of course the Stanford Challenge is about a transformation that will go on long after we're done with this campaign, as the university goes forward to try to maximize its positive impact on the world. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.